Hello guys and welcome to episode 9 in my Go.C Sharp how to series. Today we are looking at signals with parameters. I got a request recently to make a video like this, so let's get started. I have set up the normal main scene here, so we're going to click on scene, new scene, click on 2D scene, call this guy box, go to scene, save scene, click on create folder, Pull this box and click on save. Next, we're going to drag in the icon here. I click on the icon, go to transform, and set this to be zero by zero. Then right click the icon, click on add shell node, and find the area 2D, and click on create. An area 2D needs a collision shape, so right click the area 2D node. Click on Add Shell Node, and find the Collision Shape 2D, and click on Create. Next, click on Empty here, on the shape, and click on New Rectangle Shape 2D. Then go down to Transform here, and set the scale to be 3 by 3. Next, click on the Area 2D here, and for this, we're going to make sure that the input is pickable, and we're going to need this for the example. So next, go to Node here. And find the input event signal. If you hover above it, you're going to see which parameters we need to pass in. First, we have a node called viewport, then we have an input event called event, and we have an int for the shape idx. Next, let's go here to the box and right click and click on the touch script. Make sure this is a C sharp script and click on create. This will bring the script up. We're going to minimize now. Go to the area 2D again. And double click on the input event here and we are going to attach the signal to the script on the box so let's rename this guy to a bit more c sharp standard on area 2d input event select all the text right click and click on copy and now click on connect in here we're going to type in private void and paste this guy in and the first parameter was a node, and we're going to go with node2d viewport here. The second parameter was an input event. And the final one was an int of the shape by dx. Like so. And to save some time, I'm now going to copy and paste in some code. You don't always have to use all the parameters. In this case, we are only going to use the input event here. In here, we check if the input event is a mouse button. And then we check if the mouse button is released. So we do a switch case here on the button list. So if the button pressed was left, we will write that to the console. And so forth for the right, middle, wheel up and wheel down buttons as well. All right. I'm going to save the file. Let's minimize. Save the box as well, and go to the main scene, right click the main scene, instant shell scene, and click on a box, and click on open. Drag the box out, save the main file, and click on play. So if I now click on the icon here, we can see that the left mouse button was clicked. If I right click, it's the right mouse button, the middle mouse button, wheel up and wheel down. So this was a simple example of how to use signals with parameters in the Godot engine. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and see you in the next video. Bye for now.